Hello, one and all. Welcome back to yet another edition of the AGPC Average Guys Guide to Life podcast. You know who I am. You know what this is. Nice to see you. How's it going? Going good? Let's hope so. Hopefully you are happy to hear me and see my beautiful face if you are watching this uh, through a video medium. And I separated it like that because I've been gone and I've been gone because I am working on making this content into something that you could also listen to while you're on the road driving. Audio only. If you don't like seeing my mug, I don't want to force you to because Lord knows I don't want to be seeing some of (laughs) y'all. No, I, I joke. I kid. Everyone's beautiful in their own way. So we're back and that new uh, variation, the audio only, will be available very soon for your listening pleasure. Now that that's out of the way, please remember to like, share, and subscribe so that you can get more of these and, you know, the algorithm and all that shit. I'm not smart enough to understand how that shit works. So just like, share, comment, subscribe, and I will keep pumping these out as quickly as I can, as long as I know that there is an audience for them. Because my random takes on things, I don't have, see, that's the thing. I don't have an, an avenue. I don't have a lane, right? I don't, I, I'm, not, I'm not operating in an echo chamber. A lot of people have a lane for their content. Whether they're talking about sports and that's all they talk about. Whether they're talking about politics, whether they're on one side of the aisle or another. I don't have that. I talk about whatever. I talk about anything. Therefore, my audience can be broad. So I can talk about all those things and not box myself in because no one no one is only one thing or another thing. Like You can't, well, maybe in today's climate, maybe people are only Republicans and they can't agree with anything that's liberal or democratic. Uh, Maybe they're only Democrats and they can't even think about any sort of right leaning ideology. Like, I don't know, Second Amendment. Maybe they don't like guns, you know, so maybe there is that. But without talking about politics. Everyone differs. Every some people like sports. Some people like comics. Some people like, you know, music. Some people like movies. Therefore, I will talk about all that good shit. So comment, comment good shit if <laughs> if you're listening to this podcast. Um, now moving on. I felt really nostalgic recently, and it's still carrying over. So I think the next few podcasts are going to age me. So, (laughs) and I'm not ashamed of that. And maybe someone will actually be able to pinpoint my actual age because I don't think I've ever shared it on the podcast. Um, But I've been feeling nostalgic. And it all started when I was listening to the radio. A lot of people don't understand that the radio used to be like the only way you could hear new music. No, I'm not 50 or 60. <laughs> this new boom of instant two year fucking fingers and ears technology where you could, you don't even have to pay for the shit anymore or at least sit through an advertisement. That shit didn't used to exist. You had to sit through commercials for fucking church's chicken if you wanted to hear that new DMX song or whatever the fuck. So. Um, there was no, I usually listen to podcasts when I'm out driving around and whatnot, but there was no podcast out. There was nothing new that I could listen to. So I was like, fuck it. Let me just flip over to the radio. And I I felt good. I mean, it's bad. It's horrible, horrible content, but it, it it made me feel good. Like listening to the music, like, you know, that old nostalgia type of feeling you get. It's like, oh yeah, I remember this. Yes, I remember these people that used to try and entertain me with their wacky sounds and unrealistic ass broadcast voice over the radio while introducing songs. 
It was just, you just wish they would shut the fuck up and get to the goddamn music already. And it made me think back to um, where I'm from. And they used to have a radio station called WGCI. WGCI Top 9 at 9. And you had to be at your radio at 9 o'clock so you can hear the top 9 songs. And the top 9 songs were all new songs. So we used to, or me, I don't know who we is, but I used to get a tape. And I used to record the top 9 at 9, religiously. I mean, sometimes it wouldn't change for a while. And I think that's why the radio died eventually. <laughs> because they it went from not playing songs repeatedly. They gave everyone, like, everyone listening had a chance to hear something eventually that they would like. But now, they just hammer the same fucking 10 songs in a loop. So I think that that began the death of the radio, kind of. Uh, so that that started my nostalgia kick. Well, maybe not. I think that was like maybe the inception of it was when I was watching the Royal Rumble WWE shit and Edge won. And that made me feel nostalgic. So I was remembering Edge and all of his big moments in his career and i think that bled over to me not minding not minding can't speak today me not minding listening to the radio on my way to work and then that bled over into other things like checking my fucking facebook <laughs> talk about nostalgia i haven't checked my facebook in forever like forever forever i i, I forget the fucking thing exists until i get a a notification or a group message, which isn't that often. But I just went on there to see, you know, what the fuck's going on? What are the people I went to high school with doing? Turns out, not much. Nothing changed. It's still Facebook. People still depressed, sad, airing their dirty laundry, talking about they man ain't shit, they woman ain't shit, sharing the same meme that I'm pretty sure everyone saw about two dozen times before they get to Facebook. And of course the thirst traps. And now it's crazy because not only are the women posted thirst traps, but the men are posting thirst traps of women. <laughs> like they're posting thirst traps of, you know, um, women in thongs with gigantic asses. Um, women they don't know, women I don't know. So yeah, Facebook hasn't changed. I, I wish it would just go away already. What What is the purpose of it? I don't understand. Maybe it, I don't know. Like, if you want to keep in a loop with somebody, there's much better ways of doing that now. Maybe that used to be the reason Facebook was still around. Oh, look, I remember I grew up next to this person. We lived on the same block when we were in fucking fifth grade. But now everyone knows everybody. Everybody's in everybody else's business. So I, I don't know. I don't know. I have no idea where I was going with that. But nostalgia, Facebook. <laughs> I used to don't get me wrong I used to be one of those motherfuckers that complained on Facebook I was I was one of those people that would air their dirty laundry but I wouldn't be all out with it I wouldn't be like you know what blank blank is a piece of shit I really don't like this person but I did it the, the way that everyone does it they speak in code and then wait to see who comments on it and then say that I wasn't talking about you. Somebody's, you know, feeling guilty or triggered over there. Knowing damn well you was talking about them. <laughs> or you just used the word people instead of uh, saying the specific person. But then I, I got a little too bold. I, I started actually talking about people like, you know, by name. So, yeah. And one of the things I, I complained about on Facebook a lot, now that I'm looking back, and I don't know why the fuck I did this, was women. A lot of complaining. God, I cannot go through my fucking timeline. It is too horrible to see. It's like, who the fuck is this person? This is not me. Who's, who's complaining? Who this dude sound like a bitch. Like, <laughs> I will beat this person's ass. Like, dude, stop complaining so much about females like grow a fucking pair go live your life or something like i didn't do it to the point where every fucking thing was about women but it was enough 
And God, it's horrible, horrible to look at today. Luckily, now I don't give a fuck. So uh, one of the one of the biggest things I did complain about uh, when it first started, and this is also might be nostalgic now. Maybe not at this very moment, but maybe 10 years from now, this will also be nostalgic. Leggings. You remember those when those first fucking came out? Are people still wearing them? I think they're finally phasing out. I think leggings are finally fucking phasing out. Leggings are finally phasing out. Maybe if I said enough times, it'll be true. <laughs> Maybe it's because it's cold outside. I don't know. But even during the summer, I, I didn't see many people wearing leggings anymore. It, I mean, of course, they're still going to be sported. But it's slowly going away. I'm starting to see a little bit more variety. People are starting to appreciate denim again. I don't know why it ever went out of style. I always thought a woman looked best in a nice pair of fitted jeans. The leggings to me always gave away too much. It's like, damn, I'm not even interested anymore. It's like, now nah, I could just go home and fap. <laughs> I could just fap to the knowledge I've already stored in my head. It's like you're basically walking around naked. It's like, okay, cool. Nice image for later. Thanks a lot. Uh, <laughs> but there was a point in time, there was a point in history where leggings were literally all over the fucking place. That's all you saw. Black leggings, white leggings, gray leggings, red leggings, patterned leggings, flower leggings, striped leggings. That's all you fucking saw. But now it's mostly, you know, black. You see some black, you see some gray, maybe some blue, you know, here and there. But mostly jeans. Bring back fucking denim, ladies. They're great. Like, don't get me wrong. Every now and again, a nice pair of leggings. Everything all loose and free. I know it's comfortable, you know. Nice little camel toe. Do you think? But then again, it's like, man, where's the fucking mystery? Where's the mystery? But then again, I'm a walking fucking contradiction. Because me, like most men, we enjoy a little mystery. We enjoy a little class. But we also won't complain if you're fucking walking around with your cleavage hanging out. We will not complain about that. But then again, we will complain. So while... I used to complain on Facebook about how women don't know what they want. Men don't know what the fuck we want either. <laughs> we just don't know. We want it both. We want both. We want a classy lady who know how to show just enough, but we also want a, a motherfucking freak who knows how to show everything. But then, you know, put on a fucking hijab and show absolutely nothing. <laughs> Don't even show your fucking ankles, bitch. That's too much. Too far? Too fucking far. I could see your goddamn heels. Too far. Um, another thing that has me feeling nostalgic, although this is actually my first time ever viewing it. The fucking Sopranos. Hey, Stu not. Hey, Marigon. <laughs> I love that fucking show. I can't believe I've never seen it before. With Tony Soprano. It's so fucking good. If you've never seen The Sopranos. You need to see it. Even though. I'm pretty sure everybody and their fucking mother has seen it by now. I'm the only person that was living under a rock and never saw it. But then again. Uh, when I grew up we didn't have fucking cable. And this was before the internet. And you were able to uh, Jack Sparrow some shit. So I just didn't watch it. You know. And this wasn't just a regular cable channel either. This shit was HBO. Even if we did have cable, my fucking auntie wasn't paying for no damn HBO. I'd probably get my ass whooped just for asking the question. Like, what do you want to do? You want to see some fucking, uh, you know, dirty movies or something? Isn't that where it used to be? HBO would show that softcore porn shit like really late at night? Or was that Cinemax? Skinemax. Or was it HBO and Skinemax? I don't know. But anyway. The fucking Sopranos, they're so good, but it is dated. Now, I could see in the show, 
And it makes me feel nostalgic because of the fashion that they're wearing, the fucking slang that they're using. They're going fucking crazy over DVD players like it's the second coming. <laughs> DVD players. That shit had me rolling. Talking about DVD players. But uh, it's also something that could not be made in 2021. Oh, no, 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 no. People would lose their shit if this came on television in 2021. Why? I don't know. All it is is content, fictional content made by someone who is the creator. And then it's produced and directed, written. You know, it's fictional. It's for entertainment. But people get so offended by anything nowadays that you can't even have a creative vision without it being criticized. And then you are being labeled something or other. Everyone's fucking scared to make anything original and even semi-controversial nowadays, except for maybe Tarantino. But he don't give a fuck. He's already solidified. Can't say shit to Tarantino. But back then, when this show was made, all this wasn't even considered controversial. It was just a show. It was just a damn good show. and People liked it. You know? Of course, there's a little racism. But then it's not heavily racist. It's like, okay... Tony don't like niggas. Okay. Back then, and how old he was, and who he was raised by, of course he ain't gonna like niggas. He's a big fat Italian dude. But they don't shun niggas from the show. This niggas all in this show. You know? They're not the main characters because the, the name of the show is The Fucking Sopranos. It's about Italian people. So I don't mind that element. But if you were to put this shit in 2021, just drop The Sopranos in 2021, people would lose their fucking minds. It's like, oh my God, what did he just call that young black man? And the young black dude that he was talking about, he don't even look black. I'm blacker than this motherfucker and I'm yellow. He was, <laughs> he was, he was a mixed guy who was Jewish and black, but this motherfucker looked like just a tan Jew. Can I say that? Tan Jew? But that's what he looked like. He didn't look like a nigga. He didn't even have big lips. He had a he had a, he didn't even have a wide nose. They was reaching with that one. <laughs> but you couldn't even put you couldn't even drop that in 2021 and have no one get offended. Um uh, another thing that people would get offended by was some of the sexual stuff. Another, and this is also kind of looking through a fucking time capsule. Because now in 2021, it's all about, you know, it. It used to all be all about maybe in the early tw 2010s or something. It was starting to become mostly about ass. But now it's kind of a balance. You got to have everything, right? It's not about sticks anymore. You got to be voluptuous, so, so to speak, right? But looking through this fucking weird time capsule, everyone's like really skinny with these giant fake tits. I mean, they're ridiculous. <laughs> and I don't think the fucking uh, medical technology was good enough back then to even make them resemble real titties. So it's not even, you can't even fucking fool me. You can't, you can't be fooled by these things. They're stiff. They don't move. And, you know, it's in the strip club, by the way. That's how I'm seeing all of these fake titties. <laughs> Please do not... Uh, read too much into that line i've never been to a strip club in my life by the way but that's a story for another day but seeing this fictional strip club and the sopranos is disturbing it's disturbing seeing these giant fucking stiff things just shoved under someone's flesh and someone thinking that's attractive it's not it's horrible looking it never was attractive i remember being a, a young teenager Back then, and seeing people on television and the news and shit with these giant fake boobs, it was just weird looking to me. I don't know. It's just fucking weird. Oh no, I have to. I have to turn this off. Uh, get, get, give me a second. This this fucking heat. It's it's gonna come on. I'll get back to fake boobs in a second. Hold on here. And we're back. All right. <laughs> um. But yeah, I. I when I was a young teenager, I, I didn't like the, the big fake boobs back then. It was like, first of all, it was obviously fake. It's like, who the fuck are you trying to kid here, lady? Those those aren't you, and they they will never be you. And they're also um, ridiculous. Like, they, 
They don't look good. First of all, they don't look good. They look like they, they'd be painful slapping up against your face or something. They don't look soft. Like that's what makes women attractive for most men. The soft element. Those things just look gigantic and hurty. <laughs> uh, but yeah, that, that was also something that I found interesting that people, mostly white, white dudes found giant fake tits and skinny little asses attractive, but now it's the exact opposite. It's like, you got to have real boobs or at least real looking boobs because the medical technology have evolved. Um, you gotta have real looking boobs and a butt. We ain't going for that little skinny shit no more. Uh, <laughs> But it's a great show. I don't know why we've gotten to this point where we can't just accept content the way it's supposed to be. But I'm going to continue watching it. It's not offending me at all. Another good show uh, is Curb Your Enthusiasm, as I was saying. And it can get kind of repetitive. Repetitive. Repetitive? It can kind of get kind of, kind of, kind of repetitive <laughs> it can get kind of repetitive if you figure out the the formula of the show it's like okay he's gonna say something stupid he's going to do something stupid and then it's all going to turn around and you know make him look bad or make him look stupid at the end of the show it's like ah, that's the plot but it's still very good it's a very good show curb um oh my god another thing is what happened to Bam Margera? Maybe I'll get into that. But I'm a huge Jackass fan. The Jackass movies, the Jackass show. I may also be a huge Jackass. That's up for debate. I'll get into that on the next one. Until then, like, share, comment, subscribe. I'm going to try and keep these within the 20 minute range now. Just a nice little punch in your fucking face. Until I get some... Uh, some traction until I get some momentum going. Bye.